Hi Capricorn! Welcome to your singles reading. So it was supposed to be for March and April, but I had a lot of stuff going on, moving my office back downstairs, my bedroom back upstairs, totally disheveled, Mercury retrograde stuff, you know how it goes. So my apologies that you had to wait a little longer. But this will be for the entire month of April then. And because we are in a Mercury retrograde um, until halfway through April, we're going to touch on that in this reading. We're going to look at your month in general in regards to love, um, what you think you need versus what you actually need. <laughs> How other people are going to be perceiving you, the vibes you're putting out to potential mates, um, the best course of action for you to get what you want in your love life, and then also how the retrograde is going to be affecting you this month. So let's go ahead and get started. Capricorn. What's up for you? In general, if you are a single Capricorn sun, moon, or rising. Some people like to watch these for their Venus signs too. Um, personally, I think the moon sign resonates the best, but you know, you go with what you think. <laughs> so it was a big stack that fell on the floor. Typically I would read these um, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to read them because they wouldn't jump out if they weren't important. Okay. So what does your month look like in general? It might be challenging to meet your actual forever match this month. Okay. Or maybe you're just not forging deep emotional bonds and connections with people. But a lot of the reason why is because you're not communicating either at all or communicating effectively as to what it is that you desire. It's just like you're very aware of what you want. It's just a matter of speaking it. You might be more focused on the spiritual aspects of trying to draw in a mate, like using the law of attraction or expressing gratitude for somebody in advance of them coming into your life, that sort of a thing. You might be working on yourself. It's like this big period of like letting go of the past and moving into new, better energy, which makes total sense though, because that's what Mercury retrogrades are all about. We revisit, we reevaluate, we revamp, um, we change course, right? So good. Um, what is it that you think you want in the month of April? You want things to be, you know, very traditional as you would expect them to be. Or maybe you want them to stay the same. And it's because you're going through this process of healing right now, which makes total sense, right? If you're more focused on your spirituality and relying upon, you know, your spirit guides or your angels to guide you to the right person or the universe to draw that in for you um, while you're healing, that makes sense, right? Um, so what is it though that you actually need? And they say a good work-life balance, a good balance of energy. You need somebody coming in, um, that's got their shit together, essentially, um, that they're very stable earth energy, just like you. They don't necessarily have to be a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus, but they do have to have some sort of earth energy in their chart so that they're predictable, that they're stable, um, that they're reliable more than anything. They do need to have their shit together. Um, no more fucking around with, you know, losers or whatever. Okay. So how are other people perceiving you in April? I don't know why I want to keep saying February. I wonder if there's something in the February reading for Capricorn for singles that's important. But anyway, may, or maybe re, maybe you should be reflecting upon your February to understand April better, like how your February went. Anyway, so how are other people perceiving you and they might perceive you a little bit judgmental um, but that's actually not a bad thing because they have a good feeling about you they have this understanding that it's like no you know what you want and that you're actually pretty intuitive this month everybody's a little bit extra intuitive because of Pisces and like everything but um, you know that ultimately you're going to trust your gut instincts to move towards your own happiness. And so it's not a bad thing. You're decisive because you had some unhappy experiences in the past. And so you're looking for something that is kind of like assured, which isn't a bad thing. And I think that's part of the reason why you're trying to draw in this earth energy that's very predictable and stable, like because knowing what to expect is going to bring you some level of comfort. 
Now, what is the best course of action for you to get what you want? And they're saying, well, honestly, you probably should take a little bit of action. You need to co-create the reality to bring um, things in, to bring in a potential, you know, soulmate or um, life partner. So what it's saying here is you might have to be the person who pursues somebody else. You might have to start conversations. You might have to swipe right, you know, like you might have to do whatever. Or is it left? I don't know. I don't have an account, but I, I think it's right. <laughs> so anyway, you might have to be the one who, who goes out and pursues somebody, who asks them on a date, you know, who tries to get to know them. They say you can't be a recluse. You can't just like sit in the house watching Netflix by yourself, not engaging, and expect that, you know, somebody's just going on the door, hi, I'm your soulmate, the universe sent me. I wish it worked that way, <laughs> but it's not going to work for you in April at least, okay? Um, what else can you do to get what you want? And they say, absolutely do not go back to the past, past lovers and things like that, which pop up in a Mercury retrograde. They say, um, or don't even really think about it. Don't even, like if you're obsessing about the past, this is not the time to do it because then you're just drawing in the same old shit when we really want something that's more stable and reliable. We want something very different. And all you're going to be doing if you're thinking about the past and your heartbreaks, your disappointments, the things that didn't work out or that you wanted to go a certain direction and they didn't, you're just going to feel sad, you're going to feel down. And then really all you're doing is hurting yourself because it inhibits that flow of um, love energy. And it puts like a little wall up in front of you that prevents you from drawing in the person that you desire. So how will this retrograde be affecting you? And they say, actually, you're going to come out of this retrograde very successful. And like people are going to notice this. They're going to notice all of that healing that you did, but it probably won't be in the area of love, unfortunately. So I hate to say that. Like I wish that I could have made this video and said, hey, guess what? Your soulmate's going to be here and it's going to be amazing and you're going to be like totally in love and happily ever after. But um, what you're doing is you're readying yourself. Oh, holy shit, there's something in my eye. You're readying yourself for that person to show up, to fully appreciate you. You know, you're clearing everything from the past, but they don't just show up until that healing is done. But you're going to be doing so much healing that other people notice it in you. They're like, wow, you're so emotionally mature. Wow, you've really moved through to some things. You know, wow, you've really got your stuff together now. <laughs> Sorry. That's so annoying. I don't know if it's like an eyelash or what. Sorry, I've got to use this camera as a mirror. Okay. Better. <laughs> okay. Um, in the Mercury retrograde, here are the, some challenges that just jumped out. Number one, to feel enthusiasm and excitement for what's coming, but to even think about what it is that you hope for, what it is that you desire. To really map out the plan that you have or the desires that you have for your life. And to put faith in spirit, the universe, God, Allah, whatever, that those things are going to come through for you. They're saying you, you get to decide if you want to believe it wholeheartedly or if you just want to be like, you know what, fuck it, love's not for me. That's your choice, but it, it's going to be challenging, you know, as you're healing to really embrace that, that energy. I feel like there was something else we needed to know. So what is that about? So they're saying your happily ever after is there. It's coming. It's out there. Um, it's just requiring you to go through this healing process first. And so they're saying, keep doing what you're doing. Keep the idea of the love that you desire in your mind. It's going to be challenging in April. I can't lie to you about that. But if you can keep it in there, it is coming for you. Let's see if we can find out when it's coming. Now, this is a general reading. Like in a personal reading, I do timing a little bit better. So this might not be the case for all of you, like especially if 2,000 of you watch this. Um, but so they say for most of you, it won't be in the next three months. Um, they say for some of you... It won't be in the next seven years um, or the next five years. But they say that's just because it's your decision as to decide that you want to attract something and that you believe in that or not. It's your decision to heal or not. But they say for some of you, it could be within one week. 
The majority of you, it won't be. But for some of you, it could be. So it sounds like um, the majority of you will be anytime after the next three months. However, um, they say some of you, it will take, you know, more than seven months. Um, some of you, it'll just be like three weeks. So I guess maybe I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> so what is your overall guidance or like area of focus? And they say communication is so important. And look at that. That's like the little telephone game. And this is what I was talking about. Like you need to be the one to initiate conversations, to get excited about something, to, you know, invite someone somewhere with you. And so with this energy here, okay, a lot of, they want you to remember that like a lot of relationships either start or they fail or they either don't start or they fail because of poor communication. Okay. So one thing you want to, so here are some like affirmations that you want to keep in mind. Number one, I believe that every problem can be resolved. Sometimes it resolves in a way that we hoped, you know, it wouldn't, but every problem can be resolved. It can be worked through. Number two, this is going along with the healing aspect. The failures and disappointments of the past are now behind me. Yes. So important. That's the whole purpose of a Mercury retrograde. Number three. I will listen carefully to other people and acknowledge different points of view. And because communication chasms are very, very common uh, up until April 15th and maybe even the shadow period after. Love and reconciliation can be the goal. But that being said, we did have cards saying we don't want to go back to exes. So if this is somebody new coming in and there is a communication chasm, an argument or something like that, love and reconciliation are the goal. But if this is somebody from your past, it's probably not advice. Now, like I said, in a personal reading, that maybe your specific instance is different. But for the majority of you watching this, that wouldn't be the case, okay? So um, a few other things. For those of you who don't know, um, I give away a free video reading once a month. And so if you want to sign up to try to win that, um, that's at my website. There's a link in the description box below. And I think that's all I wanted to tell you. Love yous. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video, uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!